And while we've seen are a few different solar design softwares, you know, Aurora is like the Rolls Royce of the industry with that fancy 3D view and the LiDAR data. Um, you know, energy tool base we saw is very valuable for economic modeling, particularly for commercial job sites. There are free softwares out there like Google Earth and PV Watts and manufacturer string sizing software that will allow, allow you to navigate the process. Um, there, there's two so softwares of note uh, that are particularly useful for training. And so I'm giving them special attention because of that. They're, they're not product endorsements. I don't think that Helioscope is better than Aurora. You know, the best advice I've been given on solar design software is from a guy who actually had accounts with all of the companies because he said, I use them for different things. You know, I use Helioscope for commercial and utility scale. Aurora, they like better for residential, but it doesn't have all of the permit features that Solar Design Tool has, nor the, the robust economic modeling that Energy Toolbase has. And, and you know, all of these softwares cost anywhere between $50 a month on the low end to $350 on the high end. So most people cannot just go out and buy accounts to all of them. You just want to use the ones that kind of best fit your needs. Once you start knowing your economic and, uh, and, and shading game, the, the cheapest one, Solar Design Tool, is only $50 a month. But just as a warning, it's more geared towards residential than, than others. So the reason why Helioscope and Solar Design Tool get special mention is both of these software have 30-day free trial periods. And this isn't like a gimmick. I'm not, I don't get any referral, anything from these guys. But uh, the thing is, although Energy Toolbase and Aurora also have some kind of trial program or money back guarantee equivalent, Helioscope and Solar Design Tool allow you to create a user account without putting in or being charged anything for any kind of payment. So, you know, you might have signed up for some kind of web service where you get a free 30-day trial, but they take your credit card info, and if you don't cancel it, they charge your card. What's really nice about Helioscope or Solar Design Tool is you can actually go to their website, create a trial account, and immediately start playing around with the software without any payment info. There's no way you're going to get charged uh, for that. They'll, they'll remind you after your trial's up. And so for, like, what's the next step if you really want to get into solar design. Well, the next step is to go into Helioscope or Solar Design Tool or both, you know, run through the exercise from start to finish. Between these two softwares, uh, you should be able to do your shade analysis in Helioscope to determine a final array layout. And then you go and you do your final array layout in Solar Design Tool to generate your permit documentation. You know, I strongly suggest to you, if you're interested in solar design, try and doing a start to finish solar design using the free trials of both these softwares is probably the best next thing you can do to advance your solar training. Now, if you go to the, the community solar site is uh, video links, where we actually have design examples that will walk you through, you know, Don't from show you Helioscope. that'll walk you through start to finish with Helioscope and Solar Design Tools. So just as a as an example, we'll do a, a fast forward preview, but we've seen it in in stills, but you can actually uh, see the video in real time where, you know, I start with, you know, about 15 minutes in, I start with just kind of the rooftop and struggling with modeling the roof out in solar design tool where you have to wrestle with it a little bit. So now I'm doing the, the, the string sizing 
and circuit configuration and kind of playing around with it a little bit, setting the links of my circuits, filling up the rooftop, um, you know, two more branch circuits of 17 modules. You know, here I'm going and, and rearranging the, the circuits and putting, you know, all of my circuit one on this same circuit, not having it run across the entire rooftop. You know, here I'm doing that survey that we talked about. You know, here is where we're, you know, adjusting the wire sizes and conduit sizes, and you can actually see the, the numbers adjust in, in real time as you you toggle the settings, you'll see the, uh, let's see if I do it there. So I'm changing it to number 10 and uh, we see the voltage drop automatically update. And now, now we're into figure, you know, looking at the, the reporting features and, uh, you know, including our, our national electric code report, our conduit and conductor schedules, you know, here's, uh, I'm going to bring up the National Electric Code report, and it's a, you know, a multi-page report with all the calculations that we need. I think I scroll through it here. You know, so it's every it goes through every circuit, every amperage calculation, every voltage calculation, and then finally, you know, we go and and uh, extract our our one-line diagram. So now we've downloaded it and automatically it's created the one line diagram. So we don't have time to cover the, the full video, but you know, essentially in a period of 10 minutes, you know, here we are at 15 minute marker starting with the design. And then here we are 25 minutes later or 5, 10 minutes later into the video yeah, you know, we have all the permit documentation ready to go. And I mean, there might you might spend another two hours thinking about the array and uh, you know tweaking it to to make it the best design. But you know, it's not a week long process as you may expect. You can always visit my website, uh, which is uh, you know www.community.solar you know register for the site and we'll get you into class so you can see these course videos and uh we're we're updating the site uh on a regular basis we do twitter and social media we also do project consulting and stuff like that um if you have any questions now's the time to ask because we're at we're at the end if not i hope you you know this class is a little bit more laid back than the others it's not uh, nearly as technical. We've saved that for the other uh, programs, um, but it, hopefully it's it'll inspire confidence in you to uh, say, you know what, with uh, you know the capabilities of these design softwares now, I actually you know can get into solar design. Even with the paid stuff that we saw, um, often the companies will do it as as a monthly contract where you can sign up for a month and then if you don't use it for a month you can turn it on and then turn it back off and turn it on and turn it off etc